We're going behind the scenes to find out how to drive under a lorry without being decapitated. Steve, there is not much room here. It's not very high. You're going to get a car through here. I am. With me in it. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's a tough. It, this is the lowest I've ever done. It's very, very low. What are the big things that can go wrong with this one? <sighs> well, being so close, yeah. if the roof comes down and pulls down underneath me, if anything gets trapped between me and the car, I'm going to be so low here. Any of that metal work with the weight of the car is going to get dragged across me, across my body, which is potentially fatal. Um, some very serious injuries as a potential of this. Oh. Not, not ducking is a problem. Yeah, oh, big, was, big problem. Big problem. Oh. What danger rating are you giving this one? Uh, out of ten? Yeah. Nine, ten. This is our stunt car. It may look like an ordinary Ford Sierra, but it's been heavily modified. See if this looks like it's had one careful lady owner. <laughs> What's going on with it? Um, we've put some bars in. Yep, sort um, of safety bars. And that's in case I inadvertently hit the wheels or the axle of the lorry. So that's to stop the whole of the car from compressing, especially with a weakened roof. So how have you weakened the roof then? What have uh, you done? The roof's been cut inside. So it's oh, literally yeah. been taken off and put back on. So we're hoping that the roof will come off in one go. The seats have been um, lowered, the rails have come out, and it's, they're welded to the floor. OK. And the back of the seats are broken so that they'll fold back okay. at the point at which the truck's going to hit it sure. when I lay down. The reason for that is what we don't want to happen is, if you imagine, picture that that's the seat and the truck hits it, but it pivots me up and pushes me up under. Yeah. Um, we cut the steering wheel yeah, in half. Yeah, I, I like to see what's going on in the middle of the steering wheel. <laughs> well, again, if, if the lorry comes through and it clips the top and cuts the top of the steering wheel, it's going to break the steering wheel off. I then lose control of the yeah. vehicle and come flying out the other side. What about the windscreen? Because surely when you're going to hit the lorry, glass will go. Yeah, the windscreen's a major problem with a gag like this. Mm, um, a a normal, gag. Uh, that's what we call them, <laughs> gags. high-end stunt. We call them gags. <laughs> <laughs> um, if we have the normal laminated windscreen, one of the challenges is when the truck hits the windscreen or the windscreen hits the truck, you could easily get a shard of glass that will push down and could push down into me. So what we're going to do, and it's a bit of a risk, we've had two sugar glass windscreens made. If we can drive this thing in without it breaking or smashing into a thousand pieces, because they're really very delicate, right. then that's a very safe option. It's not just our stunt car which has been modified. The trailer of the truck has had its side safety bars removed and a customised bracket has been installed to catch the roof when the car drives under it. Hopefully the bracket will hold onto the roof while Steve and the bottom of the car continue through to the other side. So, Steve, we've just got to put the windscreen in, then. Uh, the dreaded sugar glass <laughs> windscreen, yeah. I'm going to give you a very capable hand to do Thank it. Thank you. Let's hope it's in fact. Oh, 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 it's hey, broken. One down, OK. That's oh, how fragile gone. it is, if you just bend one side. Can you eat it? No. <laughs> do you need to well, use that Just break the piece off. Go on, I need to do it with my fingers. Well, yeah, just... It's incredible, isn't it? Glass. Wow. So, just the one screen left then. It was crucial that we didn't break this one. It's like a weak wham and a marquee. Too tense. Oh, look. No, 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 don't, 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 don't. don't. Well, can we get some? This is on the ear, though. Does it matter? <sighs> That one, other one was definitely... Uh, Oops. Oh, that's OK, it's OK, it's in right. situ. Listen. While the stunt guys figured out what to do with the windscreen, we filmed our own Hollywood-style short film as a prelude to the stunt. I played the role of a spy, taking photos of some dodgy characters doing dodgy dealings. My location is discovered and I have to make a run for it right into the path of the truck, which is where Steve comes in. He secures himself inside the car, the rescue crews go to standby, the stunt team makes a small adjustment lining up the target. Anyone clear behind? Yeah, yeah. Time for action. We waited anxiously to see if Steve was OK. Oh, well done! He was. And what's more, he had a head. <laughs> we swapped places so I could film the final shots of the sequence. And now it's time for you to watch the finished product. See if you can spot the joins.
before. I don't think I'd follow them. A bit nervous about being out, to be honest. But it's half a million quid here, okay? Let me go much quicker, it's ridiculous. I'm, I'm right on the ragged edge everywhere. 